it's funny. I can't remember if I told you this uh, last time I was on the podcast and you asked me about the Giants. Um, when during the 2011 Super Bowl, the second one against the Patriots, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Tom Brady throws that Hail Mary on the last play. Yes. And that ball hung up there for an eternity. <laughs> and I just yeah. remember thinking, like, hey, God, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> if you let this ball hit the ground, I promise I won't be upset what happens with this team for the next five years. And uh, it happened, and I stayed true to that, and then their suckage lasted for 10 years. I was like, <laughs> oh, man, shouldn't have made that deal. So <laughs> God tacked on interest. Yeah, he yeah. sure did. <laughs> That's normally how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this last year was really encouraging. Um, nice to see the fans excited again. Dable um, and Shane give me lots of hope, you know. Um, I wish that the Giants sort of like coming back to life hadn't coincided with this even bigger Eagles renaissance, you know, mm -hmm. that's always gross. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that they matter again. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they took a little bit of a step back this year because they won so many close games last year. And I, mm -hmm. I get it. Like they have to uh, build the team slowly because the, um, I'm just trying to think of the right way to say this. Like they, it's almost they, like they were a year ahead of schedule last year. Th that's, that's, so now they're like, uh -oh, what now? <laughs> that's totally it. That's totally it. Like they, um, they, they won more games than they quote unquote should have. Uh, and when Shane came in, um, I believe there's an interview on record where either it was him saying it or someone like a personal confidant that, uh, relayed the conversation. And he said, you know, um, 2024, that's the year mm. like, we are in cap hell right now. And it's going to take us two years to dig our way out of it. And, um, in the meantime, let's try to see if we can win a couple games. And I think he's just been doing a phenomenal job. And I mean, even the the Daniel Jones contract, who regardless of um, how you feel about Jones as his, as far as his ability is to win a Super Bowl, which is what really matters um, to this fan base anyway, uh, it's $140 million or, or whatever it is. It's a lot of money. Um, but it's structured in such a way that they're out scot-free in two years if um, things go sour, you know. And if they go great, then they've sort of locked him in to a quote-unquote pretty cheap rate as far as, you know, uh, the top quarterbacks go.